Speak to uh, this uh, lady. How are you doing? Um, may I, you want to talk to me? Okay, let me talk to this madam. Madam, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Kadu from Spoon TV. I'm Catherine Kuya. My Catherine, how long you been here? I came. I've been coming. I've been <laughs> so, you got store? No, I just a petty trader in Bomi. Oh, you came from Bomi all the way from Bomi here yeah. uh, to to have this thing. But what are they telling you? Uh, the first time we came here, they said there was uh, no ticket. They they sharing the issuing ticket, but then I think today the people even selling the ticket told that not US for one ticket, and up to present we have not getting any ticket, no sign of getting ticket. But so we told that people have rights inside. Well, we learned that they have rights there, but for me, I have not seen a single bag of rice. That's what they say, but I have not seen it. All right, so what's your message to other Liberians out there? Actually, uh, apart from the message, but the people are not recognizing persons with disability. At least we should be asked, they, they should give us first preference. Because when it is in the, gov the, the Liberian government interest, they always put, give us first preference when they need it from us. But when we are in need, they don't have time for us. Since we can't, I think I fell down this morning. Or later there were which year they shop her and shop me. We fell down. The people walk over us, and up to now, nobody pay attention to us. We say Korea here and they're seeking, want to help us in no way at all. So, all right, thanks so much for talking. to say your name again. I'm Catherine Kuya. Okay, Catherine Kuya is a Liberian from Bomi County, and she's been here since Friday trying to get ticket just to buy. 20 back of rice, she's a petty trader in Bombing County. Let me speak to another woman here. How are you, ma? Yeah, I just say, Papa, my name is Ma Foka. Ma, ma Foka, where you come from? I'm from New Georgia. New Georgia, girl. You yeah. came to buy rest? Yeah, I came to buy rest. My husband passed away. No food for my children. I can't buy rest to tell around. No way they put you pushing people. So I don't know what to do, Papa. You are tough for all. So, how many back of rice you going to buy? Oh, yeah, I can buy 10 pairs. I don't eat this much more. Ten back of rice. But they tell you how, what, what's the procedure here? They both say no, but then I send a ticket again. Oh, so why when you can't you buy a ticket before they get you go buy a rest? Yes, you can buy a ticket before you buy a rest. Say nobody can get a ticket again. Uh, all right, thank you for talking to us. Yeah, yeah, Papa. We are trying for our people suffering. No way for all, Papa. All right, thank you. Thank okay, you sure. okay, so we stay here in front of the funny brothers here in uh, Clara Town, and where you see uh, Liberians have lined up just so they can have access. Uh, to be able to get rice for their family. Uh, let me speak to this, madam. How are you? Yeah, how are you doing? I'm okay. My name is Simano Kotu from Spoon TV. All right, Benita too. Benita, how long have you been here? I've been here since three weeks now. Three weeks? Yes. You've been coming here. What ready do you want from here? I want rest from here. But three weeks, so what has been going on for the past three weeks for you? I get nothing here when we come, we sleep on a sour water of free pool. They get out of free pool, they're really beating all oh, day. But for them to kill all the rest, no way they're selling tickets to people. They put out in one record, and ask all. Police people to their pity, or they're not in one app, or 
when they cut a pack in a six. Say last night, we slept there again on a sour year again. No, auto not nothing, no, 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 they not get a rest and they get it right in the pot, but I like, can't get a document from. What kind of document you need to get from here? We can get a uh, the paper they said, hey man, the ticket from here. Mm -hmm. I like, get a ticket from there, get the pass to go to the pot. So how many bags are you going to buy? I can buy only a bag, but they sell and they can sell only a bag. Only twenty bags they can get off. And for the past year, we have not been able to get that. And I want to get it. Okay, so there are some people who are saying that uh, what we're saying, those of us who go on the news saying that we're lying to the people about the rice business. What's your own take about that? Me, really? I think that rest is here, but mm -hmm. what the people want for the government or two, but the government wants to do it because the, poor, the people say that they buy the rest, they buy the rest, each other expensive. Mm -hmm. So they want add two dollars on, 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 on the press, but the government will say no. So I will appeal to the government, let you forget about it, let the people add the tool out there, let, the, let everything be free to all, that we want freedom to go and buy our rest. So now if, if the tool that is added on that, how much will be selling the rest to you? Yes, when the tool that when the tool are on it, which is they will be selling it to all 15 dollars. Then you're the, you're the you know, retailer, how much will be selling it? We'll be, we'll, we'll be selling it 16 dollars. Alright, thanks for talking to me. Yeah? Yes. All right. So another lady, yeah, she's saying that uh, probably she believed there is, you know, uh, they have rights here. But, uh, you know, maybe the government and that of the importers are disagreeing on the issue of uh, as to how much to sell the rights. Uh, so let me talk to uh, these women here. How are you, ma? I'm going to you. I'm you. You said you are like, bro. My name is Emmanuel. I ain't got nothing to say. All right. Let me talk to another woman. Ma, how are you? I'm okay. My name is Emmanuel Kotu from Spoon TV. I'm Orito Josh. I live in West Point. You live in West Point. How long you been here for this red business? More than a month. More than a month you been looking for right? How many bags of red you do you buy? Since the red business I get in here, I buy one green of red yet. Anytime we try to make an attempt to reach that get a poke shop or like today, my slipper lost, my lapper, I have a fire that I bought it from inside it. Everything went. That new slipper my photo. So then I'm so frustrated. So how many bags of red you want to buy? They say they can get people. They say they give you a twenty bag. Yeah. But normally you get you get shop. Yeah, I get shop. So uh, in your store when you uh, uh, how much they want to sell the twenty bag to you? They say in the normal price thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. Oh, you can't find it. You can't find it. All right. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah. Uh, uh, what happened? What you what you got to say to the government? Talk to the government. We suffering. They rest, but they were both talking, say they put more than say rare 14 or 15 dollars. But we're buying the rare above when you somebody buy it, you go buy it, you don't buy it 4,000 plus, 5,000 plus. So it's better let it agree with the people, let the people sell it. No, they were the one sell it, when I'm 15, they won't sell it 16. We want to buy the rest, we want to buy it, but they won't own it, they're protecting all. But they're not, they're not protecting all, we're suffering. We suffer, we leave our children to the hall. Some of the market we can sell before we say our children to school. More than one month, our children can go to school. We said nothing. We are sleep here. All day, they will come, we'll be here all day today. Tomorrow morning, we're in it. Yeah? So let the government agree with the poor. Let the poor sell the rest. We want to buy one rest. We don't depend on the government to buy rest for all. I want to sell all the buy one market. All right, thanks for talking to us. Uh, let me speak to another uh, lady here. Ma, how are you doing? I'm bad. My name is Imano. What's your name? My name is Arabi. Ma Arabi, how long you been here? More than one month. More than one month. Uh, you get store? I get shop. Oh, you get shop. And uh, by the way, it's saying, uh, tell me how the process going here? What the process here? But well, because those of us who are coming here, we don't know what the process is like. It's too hard to get it said last night I slept there off the Eastern. And I will enter in the fence, he said. Yeah, stay up there. You have not entered the fence, he said you must stay outside. But people are, people are saying that you need to get ticket. Of a time, when I get, I get one ticket, you say, one, I get it. I'm not going sitting outside here. All right, thanks for talking about What's your message to the government when it comes to the red issue? They ain't help us. The way they put, we need to sell it, really say it. All right, thanks for talking to me, yeah? Okay, so let me talk to a lady here. She seems to be a little bit angry about the issue. What's going on? How are you, man? I'm okay. My name is Simano. What's your name? Tina Blyon. Tina, how long have you been here? Since... Two weeks I've been sleeping outside. No rest, my father can be on land. The police people are coming, they're taking bras, they're not taking bras, they're giving them 20, 20. They get put, they can see outside. 
We want to be in Nagata for proper selling a ticket to people. He can create or pick it, you pick and choose. We are tired. All right, thank you. So I uh, said we're tired. Let's go in there and see exactly what is happening. Uh, thank you. We're going there exactly to tell you uh, what is going on here. As I said, thank, thank you, man. Thank you. All right, so uh, I'm sweating. Uh, it's all up. Excuse me. Excuse me. So we're going to enter the Fanny Brothers, and then uh, this is where people have been trying to enter for the past days. Okay, let's talk to me. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the name? You buying rest? Yeah, I can't buy rest. So how many bags? How many bags are you going to buy? I got about, I got about 20 bags. 20 bags? Yeah. So how long have you been here? Since last week Saturday. Since last week Saturday? Yeah. yeah. You not be able to get it? I, one cup of rest, yeah, I'm in there again. Since last week Saturday, I've been trying to get rest. One cup of yeah, in my house. It... But the comments said it right here. Yeah, we just got some information on the importers are saying they want to sell one bag of rest fifteen dollars, and uh, the government saying they should sell it for thirteen dollars. What do you think? If they, I prefer the fifteen dollars, yeah, because they won't eat. Now that's my bias, man. No rest, nothing to see there. Now that one cup of rest, a hundred dollars a day. So. You think if hey, we get the money, just to go buy it. no way. The people for many of oh, who can buy the, the bag, at least we get try. But the people want oh, to get one oh, to afford their one cup of real money, not nah, one call a hundred dollar reward. So, I, what are you doing now? What we are into? All right, so what's your message to, to the government? My message to the liberal government is try and bring rest, special to Ria. To Ria, you know, try and see it. Nah, nah, the yeah, they come in and we go in to the to the TD. We keep on being in the way you know, like we are by our own and food bedded. So, Jory are making fun of our food. All right, thank you for talking to us. A verse is Spawn 107.5 and Spawn TV live right here at the funny. Let me talk to him. I said, You want to talk to me? How are you? I'm fine. Welcome to Spawn TV and Spawn FM. Yeah, you can see the city region all facing now, right? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Seku Dukle. Seku, how long have you been here? Um, seven years so I've been here. We've been for anyone, I think it'll get by. We don't get the money, but we'll get the money, but we can see the rest. But you got a ticket now? To get all the tickets, I'm trying to send a ticket to all the game. I'm going to send a ticket to you. They send a ticket 50 dollars. You buy a ticket, you go and buy a rest again. 50 dollars, what is it? 50 dollars, USD. 50 dollars, USD. Is that legal or they do it on the side? There's someone else saying it's legal, someone else doing it on the side. Now they're speaking to get a ticket and they send it to all. They're selling it. They're selling it. So I guess there are many people here. They're selling the ticket to the business people. We're going to come up and make it better. We're not going to get no food to eat. They're selling the ticket to the business people. They're selling the ticket to the business people. And they get it right inside there. They're selling the business people. All right, so this is it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, some are saying, some are saying uh, they're, they're selling the ticket. But let me speak to let me, How are you doing? I'm okay. Okay, so my name is Simon Okotu. Are you came to buy rest? Yes. My name is Mama. Mama, yeah. How are you Send the money. Send the money, Bear. Mm -hmm. But somebody is saying they post selling ticket. If you want to give you money on the side, mm -hmm. you give it on the side. To the people who come in outside, they say they work here, but me, I know because I ask them questions. So you want to give you money inside, you get on the side. But nobody came outside here to sell ticket to anybody. You got to go inside to get a ticket? But me don't know. You go inside, when they call you in, when they check you out, you go in, they serve you. That's how it is. But I, I never had time to enter. You never had time to enter? No. You got to play all quiet up. I ain't able to push my way through. All right. Thank you. I can faint. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let me speak to this woman. How are you, man? I'm fine. My name is Emmanuel Spoon FM and Spoon TV. My name is Orita. Orita? Yeah. How are you, man? Since six and four o'clock this morning, I've been here. Yeah. You've been here since four o'clock? Yes. Ah, I want back to get back. I can't get it, sir. Yeah. There are people who are saying, oh, la, la, la. okay, so uh, one of our friends just went away. Uh, let's move forward. Uh, let me speak to uh, this gentleman here. How are you, sir? I'm here to tell you a story. You tell you a story? Okay, the message is telling you a story. story. So let's move forward. We're trying to see exactly. Uh, where they actually do the registration, what is the process like? Uh, let's move further to see. So, you see, here you have Liberians who are uh skewing up here. Uh, it seems to be like they're still not getting the rights. So, this is where you see these women are seated here. They are okay. Some of our children are 
can I sleep here on more two three days? They can't get all tickets. All women they like all oh, now we're looking for something just to be on. We can't get nothing. We suffering. No rest. And our president said we're talking street talk. Rest in their country. We can't get it. Look at the number of people here. And we never see their wall. Back around now that six thousand dollars. You can't even get it. So that what we here for? Let the government see to it that they put right outside. So how many bags are you gonna buy? If I get uh, a rest, I keep to buy 100 beds. I can have 400 beds now. You get store or you want to keep it in your house? I get my uh, container. I sell it. My business is registered. And I know illegal business woman. So what's your final message to the government? I want the government say rest on the post. We talking here. Uh, we talking street talk. And I think that politician put money in our bed to cut and stay in the sun. So this is not no street talk. It is real that there is no rest. If rest here, you will not see the number of people that are wasting us here to get rest. Lord, Lord, uh, 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 what we are can answer. Lord President, we are can answer. And go to the court and put rest us All right, thank you so much for talking to me. So what's, what, what's your name, my man? I'm Gabba Asimo. Okay. My man, sir. All right, so let me speak to this guy. How are you? I am not foreign. Why, why, why are you not fun? Because of the situation that's going on in the country. Why, you have a store or you have a shop that you want to buy a restaurant? What's your name? I have a shop. My name is Dominic. Okay, tell me how long you been here? I've been here for almost a week. We've been on our side to find an office. And then they go Monday, they transfer all on the side. For the past two weeks now, I've been running after a I can even get even 20 bags. One bag that I have not even getting. And you see, in life, deception is bad. The president is running this the country on deception came to the country not even reaching to in the country properly stopped to the airport coming out saying that rest is in the country and if you check the port the rest that is there it can't even be ten thousand bag i see i enter the port i enter the warehouse i saw them the rest that they can't even be ten thousand bag the ship that the president saw on them is the ship of Fuanis that brought Russian two months ago. The ship is completely empty. I'm saying it. I can go anywhere to prove it. I have evidence to what I'm saying. The president deceived the Liberian people. That which is not right. There is no rights in the country. Now, allowing the citizens to be ill treated by all of foreign nationals is not good. The, 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 the Lebanese people, they are treating us. Sometimes they will come, they see all in normal. We sleep here, we spend the whole day to come. So then they say, if I say, we're not selling, you all get us, I talk to all in, in an aggressive manner. And we are not coming to beg them for rice. We pay money, we are business partner to them. We are not taking our rice free. We are paying money. But because of lack of proper leadership, this is what is going on. Uh, the way in which things is going and then to the government the government should understand that Fuanis is not the only company that can import rice to Liberia let the government allow other companies to bring rice in this country this thing is not about friendship leadership is not about friendship it's about the people so let the government see reason to allow other companies to bring in rest. Fuani is not the only rice company in the whole world. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, he's saying that uh, Fuani should, I mean, uh, not, not the only company in Liberia. How are you, my man? Fine, no, I'm okay. All right, what's your name? Abraham Kone. You came to buy rice? Yes. So how many bags are you going to buy? I came to buy 20 bags of rice. How long you been here? I've been here since yesterday. So, uh, but how is the process like? I actually a top. Because for since yesterday, we are even slept here, all to now, we don't get rice yet. All right. So, but what the government said, some people are saying the rice is here, and uh, some government officials are saying rice here. But the importers and that of the government having struggle. Some are saying that the importer want to sell the rice fifteen dollars, uh, but the government saying they should stay at thirteen dollars. If it go up to fifteen dollars, will you buy it? Yes. We buy it. We also have four thousand dollars. What about fifteen dollars? I will buy it because right. I want to eat. All right. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah. All right. So let's move further. Uh, let's see where they having the process going on. At this point, we're trying to see if we can uh, go up there. So you have to go through this long queue here uh, from this side. 
so we can just see. Excuse me. Yeah. So there you see up there. You see up there. After fighting to go through the the gate, the next area you have to pass through to be able to enter and see if you get the ticket that will allow you to go to Freeport or whatever to buy. Uh, uh, all right. So let me move further a little bit. Uh, these people are on the queue. So you can see the whole queue yet. Yeah. It's lined up. This is how Let's see if we can uh, move further outside so we can see. So um, let me pass this way and see if we can talk to. So this is it. Let's see. So you can see the Liberians are here trying to enter. And they are all standing up. See how they are pushing each other at this point here. See how they are pushing each other. So Liberians are pushing just so they can have access to get a ticket that will allow them to buy red. And you can see the security guy sitting up there. See, this is a very huge struggle for you to get over there to get a ticket. So there you have it. Uh, this is just uh, the funny brothers. I was trying to see if I can go through the crowd, but we can't make it here because of our equipment. Let's see if we can uh, try to go through. Um, So, um, so you can see from this angle, I'm stuck here, sweating in there. This is what the librarians are going through just to get ticket to be able to buy rice. And at this point, we cannot go in here because of the crowd. So we just came to show you exactly what is here. This is Spoon TV and Spoon FM 107.5 and Spoon TV Live. Uh, I'm going to stop here at this point. Let's just see if we can. Uh, but I'm still moving up to see if I can actually go through this crowd. So uh, we've just seen it, and I'm trying to. Imagine a heat here. What are you doing? My name is Emmanuel from Spoon TV. Can I talk to you, please? I want to talk to anybody. What, what you want to talk to me? But I, want, I just want to know how long you've been here. Mm -mm. You know. I mean, I don't mind me. I will be on camera now. All right, thank you. So let me let me move on. So uh, they have come out. Somebody saying they don't want to be on camera at this point. So trying to put everybody outside. So we just saw the police officers. The riot, the riot police officers are here, and they're trying to. So we can just uh, move along with the police. Here the police and. Uh, the minister, one of the ministers is here, Tarala Tempo, from the Ministry of Information. 
So we are following them and just see we can. Uh, so we. Well, you got settled on you, you got a ticket. So we're still trying to get in here with the Minister for the Information, Public Affairs, uh, Mr. Gerald Tempo. And we are stuck here. Uh, this is a real struggle for us here. We are four for now. We are four for now. Yeah. 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 Come on, let's go. 
So we stuck here at this point, and the minister and some of the some of the and the minister and the WWE Minister of Commerce and the WWE Minister for Information and Public Affairs are here. We also stuck at the main entrance, and the guys in the queue are saying. So, uh, so let's go to the minister. I can go in there. Uh, so, we're trying to just open up for the ministers, and uh, they have not been allowed to enter yet because of the crowd. They are saying, yes. Okay, uh, Honorable Minister Temple, how are you doing? Uh, we want to talk to you, please, from Spoon FM and the rest of the crew. Okay, so we can just see if we can talk. Mr. Temple, how are you doing, sir? All right, so um, we, we're we trying to see if we can get to his vehicle at this point. Uh, um, Minister Temple, Mr. General Temple. Uh, you've seen a situation where you've not been allowed to even enter the, 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 the area of the Funny Brothers or Company. What do, you, what do you have to tell the librarian people? So where you have a... Alright, Minister, can you please speak to us? Is it true that uh, the importers are asking the government that uh, they want to increase the price? So you can see at this point, the Minister is not waiting to talk. Let me see if I could talk to one of the inspectors of our commerce uh, at this point. So... Let me see if I can talk to one of the inspectors. So, uh, let me talk to Deputy Inspector General of Commerce. How are you doing, sir? Please, my name is Mano Kotu from Spoon TV. Um, you went in there, you were not allowed to enter uh, you know, because of the huge number of people out there. What do you have to tell the librarian people concerning this rights issue? It seems to be like everybody is tapped left. They cannot talk to us on this particular issue. We have uh, two government officials here, and they are telling us uh, they can't talk at this moment. So keep falling. We're just trying to get their reaction from uh, what happened up there. We were there. They were not even allowed to enter because they cried out. They are saying that they have been there since this morning, and so they will not even want to go back for people to enter. All right, let me just speak to why we're trying to get him. How are you, my brother? Welcome to Spoon TV. Yeah. What's your name? 
I'm William Harris. How long you been? I've been for the past almost. I've been, I've been coming one, 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 one more time. I guess I can one bag of rice. I can get out of my store. Why is it what the cause of the rice business? Why is it even going to go and say rice is here? If we can't get rice, I can't get rice. I can't get rice. I can't get rice. Thanks for talking to me. So we can see the minister is trying to, you know, make his way. They have refused to speak to us. Not, not of the uh, ministers from the government, the deputy minister. Well, we, we, we said so either we should go to the head office. So let's see, if we can. Uh, which of the head office are you going to? So we are just getting on a motorbike and Come on, taking money for us. They said that the father of the I'm not coming taking from you. My brother, they think that this is We're not getting food. We're not getting rock. Come on, taking money for us. 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 Come on, taking money Thank you. 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 So we're trying to see what we can get to the head office of uh, Phonics. Those of you watching our Business Phone TV live, my name is Simano Kotu. I'm here along with Trekon uh, Flama and uh, Joseph Soko Corner Jr. Uh, we, we, we've been trying to... So, this, so there you go. Let's go closer to him. So you have Minister Temple in... That vehicle alongside the deputy inspector of commerce and we are trying to head to the phoenix me office to see if we can talk to them but let me speak to my colleague uh Trekon, you, you've been following the issue yes, so sir emmanuel and i just can't believe what's happening right now on the streets uh, you can see the people are saying that they have been here for days weeks and all of that just to get a bag of rice for they and their family and though the minister has refused to talk to us and and it just it just not easy just unbelievable for now so we're still trying to see you can see that the whole crew there our comrade ministry and that of the minister of information and uh, we just want to see we can see where the car will be going so uh, my radar will just hold us small i understand they said they want to go to the funnies uh a funny right? yeah. yeah funny uh head office let's go this guy man trying to cover us up yeah, so we stay uh, moving, and uh, we're moving with scores of journalists as well. Uh, Media practitioners are yeah. also here along with us, as you can see on motorcycle. We are making sure to get to where the ministers are going, and be updating you, the public, on this uh, rice crisis. Whether the government is saying the truth or right, is in the country or not, uh, but the buyers are saying they can find it. So there's been some issues raised here by some of the, uh, you know, the guys. Uh, they are saying that uh, yes, indeed, they are raised, you know, on the market. Motorbike, uh, like They are saying they are right on the market, but the importers are saying the rice is now expensive on the world market, and so they want to add two dollars to the current three dollars that's been sold for, and the government is saying no. But the, the, that, imagine the, the, the rest dealer, they, they themselves are calling for the, the, the price to be increased because they're saying they can't find the rice. So instead, they want the price to be increased so they can have the commodity on the market. All right, so we are just going to stop here. At this point, you see where uh, this minister of vehicle is going to park. And uh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, so... Um, just pack a bus so we can get it. How much do you give me? You see? All right. So uh, we just come here. Uh, the funny brothers, uh, we waiting. The ministers uh, are going to come out. You have uh, Minister Gerald Temple from the Ministry of Information. He's here along with the Deputy Inspector. And then a lot of issues been going on. But it seems to be like a, they want to find out exactly how uh, things are like. We're moving with the Deputy Minister of Commerce. And we are trying to see if we can try to go to this office and see what the ministers are trying to establish concerning this right issue. And we've been told that some of the uh, 
dealers, the retailers, and the wholesalers are saying they have to buy a ticket, and that ticket will allow you to go to the port to get rice. So, all right. I can assure you. All right. So the deputy for price, the director for price, are the minister of information, and and we've been asked, we've been asked to to hold on at this point. So those of you watching Spawn TV, stay tuned. We will give you all of the details as to what is happening here as soon as the minister come out. But it's been a very tough morning for us here, uh, going out to see what exactly the people have been going through for the past two weeks. They say they don't have rights in the country. And some are saying that they are, we have enough rights in the country. And some are saying the importers are calling for increment in the prices of the, the rice on the Liberian market. But the Liberian government is saying no. So that is where we are stuck. We are yet to verify that information from the Ministry of Information and the Commerce Ministry as to what has been discussed with the importers in the country. So keep watching what we right here are the foreign uh, brothers. And you can see at this point, we, we see the, the director. Waiting for an authority from here. None of the authorities are here. So as soon as the authorities come and minister speak to them, if there's a need to talk to you people, the minister will do exactly. They'll be patient. All right. So the director of price, uh, Mr. Formule from the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism, he is the director there, and we have his principal boss, Minister Gerald Temple, is also here. He is the Deputy Minister for Press and Public Affairs, Republic of Liberia, and along with the Deputy Minister of Commerce. So we are... <laughs> Sorry about that. So you can see here, there are, I see some folks also lined up here. I don't know why they came for rice as well. Uh, this it's just the situation here. Yeah. Well, let me see if I can uh, bring her in, my colleague, um, Trigon Flammer. We're going to have some discussion on the issue. And uh, I must say, Trigon has been a very good cameraman today. I love <laughs> Joseph Sukuk on the Trigon, how are you doing? Yeah, it hasn't been easy, Manuel. Yeah, but we've been going through. I mean, just imagine at uh, the Fuani, uh, I still struggling to pronounce this name. Is it yes, Fuani? Fuani. Fuani. Fu Fuani. Uh, Fuani uh, brothers. And uh, we saw the, the, the number of you know, librarians out there who are yearning to get rice. And now one of the information I got is that if you keep 100 bags of rice, the founding brother will not give you 100. They will give you a slip for 20 bags. What do you make of that? A very sad for the, the population and, and also for the, the business community, especially the, 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 those who are doing wholesale, not the importer, those who are doing wholesale and the retailer, it's very sad for them. And also the, the citizenry, a very, a very, it, 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 it's so heartbroken. According to them, some have spent one, two, three weeks, uh, days there trying to just buy maybe two or three bags of the Liberian stable food. You know, rest is not just ordinary commodity in Liberia, it has a history. It form an integral part of the Liberian Civil War, the 1979 uh, Rest Riot, moving or to the, uh, the I call it the infamous June 7, one of those issues that rice prices, the price of rice was up and all of that. Uh, so rest is not just uh, one of the, those commodities that we just can can play. And one of the thing that actually when you say is very sad, I, I, I saw a disabled woman. She comes as far as from uh, Tottenham Bird, just. Uh, mm -hmm. They always yeah, prioritize, prioritize the disabled people, but she's there along with other guys who are also in the wheelchair, and they have been pushed away. Yeah, yeah, and they, they should have been prioritized, especially in this uh, kind of situation, because they can't just get along <laughs> from this situation now. People who say that there's there's some level of scarcity of the commodity on the Liberian market, whether or not the importers promising that the rice are going to end this 2022. Yes, but the Liberian people can find it. Yesterday we were at the Oro Joba market and we found out 100 Liberian, 120, 200 Liberian dollars for a cup of rice. 
which of course is posing serious, serious, excruciating hardship to the people of, of Liberia, especially the, the, the market women and all of them. And talking about the market women, um, I just got information again. I was talking to some of them. They were telling me uh, they have rights here, but the importers are saying they want to, in, you know, they want to increment in the prices of the rights because, according to them, it is now expensive or mm -hmm. out there on the, on the world market. And they, they know the, the twenty-five, they want to add two dollars, mm -hmm. but the government is saying that they don't want that increment. So as a result, some of the importers are holding back. Holding back. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I want to, I know, yes, yeah, that's what I want to. We want to find out from uh, the. Comment ministry, if they had a discussion like that with the importers, what are it just rumors from the uh, importers? Uh, but what do you think? Do you think uh, at this point where librarians are yearning for the rights, is it good for us to increase uh, you know, the price so that librarians can have access to it? And at the end of the day, if there are more <laughs> supply in the country, then we can drop the price. Emmanuel, for me, I believe that uh, aside from my belief, there's uh, this saying that uh, uh, first preservation is to 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 make sure that your life is safe so anything that 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 the government can do or the business community can do to find liberians to be safe to have the product on the market no problem but 100 or 200 liberian dollars for a couple of rice is so much is so much high for the poor people the ordinary liberians Mika. Yeah. All right, thank you. And, and, and uh, he's saying that there will be, there might be a possible, you know, yeah, there might be a possible. You can pass, my brother. Go ahead. A possible in press conference of the Ministry of Information, and Culture, and Affairs, and Tourism. Um, but we're talking about this, right? Um, to, to, and for me, I believe that if that will be done to have the product on the market, it should be done. The Liberian people should have it. But right now, see what's happening. Then I was, I was so afraid of a stampede. I was, I was. <laughs> Even though the director kept saying, "Go in, go the in." Director kept but, pushing. Yeah, up but I, I had, I, I got to a point where I couldn't even breathe properly, <laughs> so I had to come back. I you was know? so afraid of, of a stampede. You know, when we were there, and you know that this, this is the situation. If if it is not handled right now, it might, it might just go uh, escalate or go beyond this. So imagine in the capital city we have this situation. What's happening to the other uh, districts across the country and all of that? Okay, so I was in Niba County from Thursday up to Saturday. And uh, when I got to Ganta City on Thursday night, rice was sold for $4,200, those who had some. And then on Friday, it went to 4000 Five hundred, and the whole rice, you know, stock got finished in Kanta City. And I've, I've just when I'm coming back, I asked again. It was said it's gone up to five thousand five hundred. So at this point, um, Liberians, whatever it costs them to get a bag of rice, they are they just waiting to. Get. Just, but it, listen, those who are yeah, those who are watching us, what are we talking about thirteen dollars, fifteen dollars, or twenty five dollars? We're talking about the twenty five kg rice, the American Powerball rice, most of which come from the U.S. Some are sold for eighty five United States dollars, right? and that has been yeah, yeah. So yeah. that has been considered for the elites of the society. Uh, people cannot afford to buy eighty five dollars of rice. Just to feed, if you have 15 person and then uh, you have 50, 50 kg, you're buying 85. Now, yesterday again, while I was on the radio, I uh, tried to you know, go across the country. Uh, yesterday, some Firestone workers were set for rice. Uh, you know, normally on the Firestone plantation, they give rice to their workers at the end of the month. And some of them got two, two bags of rice. And they were selling the rice as high as $120. Wow. $120. Some were selling it $85. Wow. Yeah, you know. and, and guess what? With all of the you know increments, you know, those who are working at the plantation because some single men or you know they have right, they just have one bag of rice. Mm -hmm. And they try to sell that one bag of rice in our own Librarian Palam. The rest finish. So yesterday there was a huge crowd moving from from, from Morovia to, rushing to uh, to yeah. Firestone to see okay the workers have gotten their rights so they could get some. Before they got there, the rest was finished. Yeah, Emmanuel, you know, the situation Right now, people are just trying to find solution to, to what's happening in a country, and we hope. I don't know why why the information we gathered that the rest the rest importers didn't attend the executive meeting yesterday at the executive mansion. 
I don't know why they, they didn't they didn't attend, but uh, it's, it's when when we are in such a situation, if there is any reason for which to establish to quench the situation, there should be dialogue and and everybody should have a side. Official report of the red issue for the Ministry of Commerce, Amika. Right after yet, come in. Minister of Commerce will be here. Minister, I will represent the minister there. Thank you. All right, so uh, so the director minister, we've been told that is, he is the for Famule, uh, he is the director for of press, press and public, uh, affairs public affairs and the visual information, and he's given us some uh, you know heads up that after year after the meeting with the officials of our foreign you know, brothers, and then the Ministry of Commerce will be coming up with a release. So we're just asking our team members, uh, while we are heading there, maybe Aaron Kuban and the other team can also be heading to the Ministry of our Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. But Emmanuel, I have been wondering, Liberia is not just a country like 60, 50 years, or 175. Why can why why each time government will come and say we want to we want to, we want to prioritize produce our own food and they just say hey, these things and for year in year out the issue of, about the stable food has been difficult for for Liberians. Why we have why we have a regulatory body for cocoa? We don't have maybe Liberia rest production agency you know to to have that sole responsibility to produce rice. The same way we have the cocoa. Lacra, right? We have Lacra and other institutes. So hopefully, hopefully in November I'll be going to Rwanda, you know, to mm -hmm. ask. Uh, we have some agriculture stuff there, and I want to ask how to do their farming system there. I think we need a system in our country uh, to prioritize the farm and the farmers. If you go to Cote d'Ivoire, every year there is a system put in place. Uh, the farmers are awarded. Imagine government can look at the whole farmer and the farm and give them three, four pickers. It's not meant for them for, for the farmers, but to encourage them to be able to do more and supply the, the, their citizen. The same is happening now in Ghana. The same is happening in Rwanda, where if you are a farmer, in fact, they are encouraging their students to go into farming. To, so as to prevent, but we make our system in a way that uh, we, we so-called donor dependent. Mm -hmm. And so some of our officials, and I say they're on a live camera, they go out there, UNDP, the, all the other P, they come together. They say, oh, we want to subsidize the farmers. Work. At the end of the day, it doesn't go to the farmers. It goes either in the pocket of some of the ministers or the directors. At the end of the day, they show pictures of one small backyard garden. All of the things that we have in Liberia, only a few people have farm in Liberia. Everything is just backyard garden, subsistence farming. Sustainable for for the economy. You you need Liberia. We get, we have the we have the workforce. Have young people that you can train to go into the sector. Moving Liberia from subsistence farming to a marketized farming farming is is not an event, Emmanuel. It, it needs investment for the government. Yeah. So we're not just listening to politicians. You say, oh, we need to do this. And at the end of the day, Liberia is going by the day one. And so on the five years which we have been producing resin, but now our citizens will not be gathered as red. And, and this is what I said we've been having the Ministry of Agriculture for more than I don't know how many decades. We have the Ministry of Agriculture. Where are they? What are they focusing on? Focusing on cocoa, they're focusing on the coffee. The Liberian stable food. The Liberian stable food. What is happening to it? There, there should be a priority given to those who are growing rice. And, in that, and, and like I was saying, Emmanuel, there's a need to establish a regulatory body for, 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 for rice. But do we, we have, have do we the rice agency under the Ministry of Agriculture, like in the case of other, like the Ministry of Agriculture, then you have LACRA, LACRA uh, yeah. managing growing cocoa, uh, not just managing the importation, but growing cocoa and adding value and quality to the cocoa. That's how it should be. Why can't you have Liberia Rice Production Agency or company particularly responsible to handle that matter? And trust me, we have a system where our government is reactive. We are not proactive. And it's not a government of Liberia. It's not the, only, the current, you know, George Weah government, mm -hmm. not the Ellen government, nor Charles Tiller. It has been there for Time rack of ages. We have been very reactive. Now, because of the current situation, you will hear the Minister of Commerce will come up with a big pronouncement, and you will hear the Minister of Information will come up with another one. The Agriculture Minister will come and say, we are doing this. But just, just watch for two weeks. 
if the importers are able to release more rice on the Liberian market, all of the big plan for the agriculture, everything will just go down. Sure, and it, it should not be that way either. We, we have the land space, we have the manpower, we have the climates for, for growing rice and all of that. So it should not be where, in, the, in a sense, a government has to come. Right now, maybe the government has to find means to, 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 to strategize, maybe a, long, a short-term strategy to have rice on the market market immediately as possible because many of the people we spoke to yesterday they threatened to vote against the government and we know election is just next door rest is a political commodity and a stable food for liberia isn't just one of those commodities that you just you know you just throw at the back and just for your information there's a group somewhere around the matali belt uh, that is organizing a protest they are saying they're giving the government up to friday if the government cannot uh make rights available Monday, they will get on the street. And I just hope that the Ministry of Commerce, the Liberian National Police, the Executive Mansion, uh, you know, the relevant authority, we have to arrest the situation currently because they are saying they're going to give the government up to Friday. If this situation of rights cannot improve on Monday, they're taking the streets. Constitutionally, they have the right to do that. But uh, no media institution, neither SPO FM, we can encourage them to do that. It is your right under the law. You can assemble to petition your legislature, which is granted on, on our law. And the police should be there to provide you protection to, to be able to present your plight uh, to them. But again, the issue of, of rest protest, it has a history in our country. So whoever will join such protest, you have to be careful how you're going about to conduct your protest or your demonstration as you may, Emmanuel. And I'm sure because of uh, the uh, announcement from the director concerning the press release from the... So what from do you the, think we should, we should expect from the Ministry of Commerce? Oh, available or new price... Rice, and all of that. So, so basically, uh, what I'm expecting is just what I've heard from some of the you know, the retailers mm -hmm. that are saying that there's rice available, but the importers are saying there should be increment. So definitely, there, there, there's going to be some increment in the prices of uh, the staple food. Or secondly, will tell you that maybe they have a ship on the way coming to Liberia, or they will tell you that the importers don't have rice. The situation the government is now between. Like the scissors. People, the scissors or between a hard, the rock and a hard place because the, the president recently on his tour he promised the reason why the price of rice has not gone up. Mainly, uh, Senator of Mozarado County, Sir Joseph, reiterated that it was because they subsidized the, the rice importers, so they kept the rice at the scale at the at the seating it is right now. So when they are trying to increase the price definitely the president or senator joseph they will be liar so this is it uh, when the president uh, returned to liberia his excellency dr george maniwea he made a statement that a lot of a lot of the librarians did not listen to they only took yeah they only took one aspect of his speech when he said he did not believe there's shortage of rights but if you listen to the full speech of the president he said people maybe because of the street talk but they will further go to investigate. He said, wherever, you listen to that speech. I want you to listen to the tape. He said, where there is smoke, there must be a fire. So they have to verify. You know, but sometimes the issue of our communication becomes a problem to the Liberian people, you know. Yeah, because when you, as a leader, when you speak, people don't have time to listen to what you're going to say at the end of your speech. You know, he said, he said, uh, well, I don't believe, maybe it's because of the street talk, but for you, the Liberian people, we will try to get out there and be able to see what is happening because where there is smoke, there is always a fire. That was, you know, you were just speaking in parable. And many people did not, many of us, you know, many of the citizens did not even listen to that, as, that part of the, of the president's speech. So you know, the president said, right here, the president said, you not believe that thing. You understand what I'm saying? So the next time the president, when you come from out, when you come from out and uh, you are asked on the issue that you're not in a country, you should say, hey, let me ask my, you know, uh, my minister for a briefing we'll have and some I'll talk consultations here. and all of that and come back. So we are still here on the bourgeois island trying to bring you up to speed about what's happening around this entire rest issue in Liberia. The Liberian stable food cannot be found by Liberians who are into the business, retailing and whole 
wholesale distributors they can find the products on the market they are on the back of importers and the government also trying to negotiate to ensure that the products is available for all Liberians while our market women have been alarming or the the, the hack or the the astronomical increment in the the cup of rice which is sold right now 200 Liberian dollars, 150, 120 to some areas and all of that. So it's a growing concern in the country, and we all know the history about rest. But Emmanuel, I am so key. Why Liberian people, if you rest, then it can be certified. Every country has got its own staple food. For instance, I lived in Ghana for over 10 years, right? And the staple food that you have corn, you have yam, and the cassava. So they don't prioritize too much of rice. If you go to Cote d'Ivoire, Cassava is one of the major things because of the, you know, what we call uh, the acheke. So if you don't place the acheke in Cote d'Ivoire, so Liberia also has their own staple food. If you go to Egypt, bread. Okay, you, <laughs> you go to Egypt, bread, no, everybody like bread. During yeah. I watched a protest about bread, I was shocked. Yeah, so every, every country got their own, you know, staple food. So you came down. So we see, I think the minister is coming out. Okay, we have. So we. All right, so uh, folks. Uh, we have just seen that this time around we are going out. Thank, many thanks to the team for being part of us. You saw the ministers coming up, and we are on our way to the Minister of Information, Culture, Affairs, and Tourism. And uh, we'll bring you up there as to what is happening. We're expecting the Commerce Ministry and that of the Minister of Information to come up a press briefing to speak to the Liberian people on the current situation. My name is uh, Imano Wai and I've been here along with Trick and Flammer and Joseph Sukokone Jr. Keep watching Spawn TV. We are dishing out Liberia's best. <laughs>